Hello guys and welcome to my first tutorial video. Uh, this is going to be a tutorial for uh, Mac users only. Uh, this You can only get this application on Mac. But it does work with PS3 and Xbox. The application is called Joystick Mapper. And it basically allows you to um, use your uh, controller to play games on your computer. So, as you can see on your screen, um, if you have downloaded it, uh, it will not look like what I have here. It will basically, uh, I think, will be blank. So, basically, what you want to do, um, as, as you can see, I've got a few games that I've got set up here. And, basically, if you go to File, uh, you can have a Load Examples but, um, option. You click on it. And it will come up with a whole bunch of uh, like preset sort of control schemes for the different uh, like for the different consoles. So you can, as you can see, um, example first person shooter, Xbox 360 gamepad. Then there's PS3 gamepad down here. So basically, um, the if you use want to use it for a first person shooter, um, it's this is basically the default settings of the game will already be with this so if I go into edit this preset as you can see it's got a whole bunch of stuff so like say you won't be able to understand this stuff yet until I tell you but um, this is all basically the controls that you'll need to use for sort of stuff um, so basically I've got a PS3 controller uh, right here so you can see and basically to connect your PS3 controller to the um, uh, computer, you're going to need your um, what do you call it? The USB um, charger cable th thingy that you'll get with your PlayStation 3. Um, you basically just connect it into the side, and it sh and when you select one, it should register that there's a joystick connected, as it says down here. That it says no joysticks connected. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete all these, and I'll be back with you in a sec. Okay guys, I am back and I've deleted all those examples. So now I'm going to teach you how to make your own preset based on whatever game you want to use. I'm just going to use Minecraft for this example, uh, as it has not very complicated controls. So basically what you're going to want to do is click um, Add New Preset, but before you do that, you want to get you want to um you're going to want to plug in your HD uh, mini cable thingy that you can tr that um you recharge your PS3 controller with so you plug it in and it should come up with flashing lights if you can see that correctly and uh basically what you want to do is you're going to want to hold down the PS3 controller the PS button for about one two three seconds and it should be connected it it won't come up here it's oh, i don't know why but if you click add a new preset uh you'll get a new preset here and you can basically name it it's going to name it uh, minecraft youtube example uh you can put you don't really need to put a tag but i just put um, PS3 gamepad just to so I know what it's for and then you're going to click add a new joystick right so where you do this you're going to want to put the tag again so PS3 uh, gamepad alright so oops one sec what the, yep okay so then what you're going to want to do is click add a new bind so this is where um, the controller comes into play. So it is really hard. Like uh, so, say uh, we'll put W. So select what control. So W is obviously to move forward um, on your on Minecraft. So basically, uh, we'll put W, and then if you put uh, like this sort of stuff, you're gonna have no idea what what it means at all 
So basically what I found was easiest was you select what key it is, then you click scan, and it'll basically you just on your controller, you just use whatever control you want to use like that, and it'll basically just use that control. So I, as I what I did, I used the left stick here and I just pushed it forward for W. So which means which is walk forward. And you're basically gonna to want to do that for uh, every single control there is so you go A scan and you're gonna push your joystick to the left if that's what control you want to use don't know why you wouldn't want to use that but you're basically gonna want to do that for every single um, basically gonna want to do that for every single control that there is in the game um, as I said if it's uh, like say Call of Duty 4 or a shooting game that has a lot of different controls uh, you're going to want to use one of the examples so the example FPS for whatever you're using and basically just edit the controls inside that exactly how I'm doing it um, for your controls that you use for the game so basically you keep on doing this uh, which I'm going to do off camera until you get um, the like all the controls that you need to play the game so I'll be back once I have finished alright guys I'm back and you should have something uh, looking along the lines of this obviously it won't be exactly the same because I have uh, my controls are a bit different for Minecraft as I like you know I like to play differently based on how I like to play it's just comfortable for me so you basically just wanna um, keep basically do what I did uh, just for every control that you use like say so walking inventory um, this is uh, for selecting stuff in the inventory um, and stuff like that then there's break place uh, you know all that sort of stuff you're gonna wanna um, basically just fill that all in and just click scan every time and just press whatever button you want it to be uh, so once you've done that you'll end up with something like this and you basically all you have to do is just get out of it and if you have uh, it connected properly which you'll see one joystick connected at the bottom all you have to do is select the box here to use this preset and it will basically see I'm moving the mouse here with the joystick uh, so it'll basically let you do that and I'll be back once I'm in game to show you that it works. Um, I'm not sure how to get it to work wirelessly because um, you have to keep it plugged in. But once I find out, I will make a video on how to do it wirelessly for you guys watching who want to know. And yeah, um, I'll be back in game with uh, Minecraft to show that it works. Guys, I'm back in in game uh also another quick tip you're gonna want to play in full screen as you can see i'm not in full screen at the moment because this will happen uh as you know th um the whatever you've set the controls to move the mouse um it will basically not only move the crosshair but it'll move the mouse as well so if you go too far it will like do this sort of stuff and it'll move the mouse off the screen and you know stuff like that so see as you can see the mouse is going like that yep so basically what you're going to want to do is just go into your options and basically uh, go video settings and put full screen on and now it should work it it shouldn't be like um, doing anything it shouldn't be stuffing up or anything it should work fine uh, you can adjust the sensitivity uh, in game and also in um, joystick mapper to where you feel comfortable with it. So as you can see, I'm in my world at the moment, and it's everything works fine. I can uh, break blocks. I can pl uh, place blocks on the sec. Oops, no, that's not what I wanted to do. You can place blocks by, you know, so that sort of stuff. So yeah, uh, it's fully functional. Uh, another tip: you're gonna you have to leave joystick mapper open while you're playing, otherwise it 
will not work at all because uh, you won't have the controls and everything uh, so just leave it open and it will work fine uh, as I said before um, you're obviously not going to be able to type with the control lock because there's just too many keys so um, basically I'm just going to go like this alright so as you can see on my controller I'm moving uh, per perfectly in game just with this controller I'm not using the mouse or the keyboard at all uh, as I said I will try and find out how to do it wirelessly for you guys because it is actually a pain in the ass to have the wire connected all the time uh, yeah so if you guys like the video please leave a like uh, comment for if you have any questions and make sure to subscribe to see more videos when they come out and especially when the wireless one comes out and any other things that I do uh, make sure to subscribe to my other channel my gaming channel which the link will be on screen and down in the description so uh, this was Gian with uh, my first tutorial video on my channel and I hope you guys liked it uh, so yeah, see you guys. Peace.